hello welcome or welcome back to my channel my name is dream but i go by dreaming sims and today i'm sharing gameplay mods and overrides i use slash will use in my game and toward the end i will be showing my favorite poses and animations i like to use for my let's plays with that being said let's dive into a mod most know but have no idea how much you can do with it and that is the mcc or mc command center by Ditter pool so most of us know that when you click on a sim you can access cheats and modify relationships for that sim you selected but if you actually go to the computer you'll find that you can modify your gameplay itself there is a setting i like to mess with and that is the mcc settings so if your game likes to randomly crash at times you can choose to have your game save automatically during certain intervals of playing in the gameplay settings you can also change your game time speed which is super helpful for those who are doing let's plays because as you know the time can really get ahead of us right now i just have it at the default settings because i am in a new save testing things out but you have the choice to speed Speed up the game or slow it down and yeah my personal preference is definitely to slow it down for those who love big family gameplay you can also change the maximum size of your household and i have mine set to eight so my laptop doesn't die on me this next part in the MCC setting is so key for me because i get tired of having to type in the certain cheats every time i load up in game in the console command settings, you can enable certain cheats like edit cast, edit full cast mode, or BB dot move objects on. Basically, all the cheats that you usually have to enable every time you open the game. This setting will keep them enabled until you decide to disable this option. Now I'm going to go over another useful mod that helps your gameplay run smooth and that is the Better Exceptions menu by Twisted Mexi. So each time you load up your game, this mod automatically checks for broken or outdated mods like this. And when it is done loading, you can click full report where it will take you to a browser where you can see your outdated or broken mods, as well as how many duplicates there are in your game that could affect your gameplay as well. I'm just gonna give you guys a quick tutorial on a manual way you can check it if it doesn't pop up in browser because I know for me sometimes it may not pop up in a random browser so what you want to do is go into your documents electronic arts folder sims 4 click sims 4 and then I like to put it in the list so I will be able to see the date when it was modified so you want to click on the most recent one we're obviously going to click on my old one that is the most recent one but I cleared it cleared out the mod so that's why it's saying it's old but as you can see it shows the broken and outdated mods that I had in my game and then also all the duplicate mods like look at all these mods I have y'all that are duplicated in my folder and surprisingly yes that does affect your game and its ability to run um, so I had to clear a lot of these duplicates out so my game can run smoothly. I highly recommend this mod because it, it helps to minimize or at least eliminate the 50 by 50 process you have to do when you have outdated or broken mods or any other tedious processes there is to eliminate outdated mods. Since Twiggy was already the star of the show this morning, we're going to have Bruce show all the pet mods I have in game and the first one we'll be looking at is the Playable Pets by AOM Studio. What this mod just allows you to do is control your pets and see their needs and traits. So as you can see, Bruce needs to go potty so his mama's going to take him out for a short walk. And as you can see, Bruce likes his walks very much, clearly. But what we can't always see is the weird quirks pets get over objects like that Loki be driving me nuts. However, the hide and reveal quirks by SpazMonkey13 allows you to see these quirks that were hidden under the traits section of pets, which helps you to understand your digital pets better and what they may be afraid of or what they're just obsessive over. And boy, does Bruce have a lot of them. Now I will be focusing on gameplay mods for my sims and the first one I'll be showing is Better Cooking by Boss TV Lady. This mod stops your sims from autonomously cooking on grills, yes you're the enemy, stove tops, ovens, coffee machines, and all the other appliances sims like to cook with. Here I'm showing that I have sped up my game and put on gameplay on full autonomy to show you how they won't go to any of the appliances even if they're hungry. Thank goodness, no more sim fires over y'all not knowing how to cook. 
But let's make some din din because a girl is feeling bad for making poor Emery starve. Speaking of that, beware. Since Sims won't autonomously cook anymore, you will need to make sure you feed them yourself. This next mod is very small and it is the Turn On TV by Mizor Yuki. In real life, I love watching shows while I cook or clean, so I love that this mod makes that possible in game. So as you can see, Emery is cleaning up her dish and then playing with baby Twiggy while the music station is turned on. Since it's nighttime, it would be the perfect time to show the Dreams and Nightmares mod by Elaine BM underscore mods. We are gonna have Emery sleep and in this mod, both kids and adults can experience a multitude of dreams or nightmares. And what's super unique is that there are unique experiences for every Sim depending on their personality and circumstances. So now that it's the morning and Emery's awake, we can see that Emery had a music dream. Now, she's definitely not a musician, she's a model, but it kind of works in the fact that she is a very creative sim, so she just had a dream about creativity as a whole. You can even go to the computer to seek help from a therapist over a recent nightmare slash talk to other sims you know, or go to the Dreamcatcher store to purchase infusers and tablets to help with nightmares. After purchasing an infuser, you actually have the option to set color and intensity of light, turn it off, put it in inventory, or smell the aroma. From smelling the aroma, you can get an inspiring buff from it. Now that Emery's dressed for the day, the next mod I want to show is the Travel To Menu by Kiara Sims 4 Mods. With this mod, your sim has the ability to do so many activities and you can either do them alone or invite up to 8 sims. Since I haven't made all of Emery's friends yet, I plan on just inviting Clementine and Asa to join her on this trip to the casino. And although it is a rabbit hole, some options cost simoleons and your sims can even receive buffs or even have objects in their inventory from certain activities. For example, since we are heading to the casino, Sims will stay at the casino for 60 to 180 minutes. They will come back with a buff of losing or winning. If a Sim wins, they will gain anywhere from 100 to 500 simoleons. And if they lose, you will lose 100 to 500 simoleons which is not fun. Thankfully, we got the funds though for that. But as we can see, oh gosh, she came back and y'all, she lost 405 simoleons and she has an angry buff, lost money from playing casino games. Guess I need to stick to my day job because the casino isn't my place. Yeah, girl, um, it definitely isn't. I bet it definitely does got you feeling like trash. I'm sorry. So before I show some social gameplay mods, I want to quickly go over overrides I have in my game that I enjoy. And the first one is the Minimalist CC Icon by Rail Sim. I like this override because it simply gets rid of the blue custom content wrench and it replaces it with a nice minimalistic look. And it also overrides it in the Create a Sim as well. The next override I want to go over is the No Map Outlines by Mizori Yuki and it comes with two options, thinner and removed. I have the removed option. Personally, I think it looks so good with the map replacements I have and just gives more of a realistic effect for you traveling from world to world. Then the last override I'm showing is the default vehicle replacement by Black Life Sims. This replaces every car in the sim world, even the parked ones, and it makes everything look just more realistic. Now going over social gameplay mods, Emery and her fiance have arrived to the Stargazer Lounge to spend some time with each other and the Passionate Gifts by Utopia allows your sims to give romantic gifts to each other. You can give a fancy wristwatch, flowers and chocolate or a heart necklace. We are going to have her fiance give her a heart necklace and y'all just look at the in-game animations from this mod. It looks so good. And afterwards, your sim can receive a buff from this gift option. Then the next mod works perfectly with in-game gift interactions and that is the Say Thank You by Mizor Yuki. Such a small social interaction, but I think so needed, especially when I think about my Willow series and how many times I wish she could just say thank you. But now you have the option to say thank you or say thank you in bed. 
Now that I got them somewhere more private, the next new mod I want to show is Sociable Sims by Plum Lace. I currently use Social Interactions by Maple Bell Mods and Katie Mods, but the more Social Interactions I have in game, honestly, the better. I really like this one because not only does it give you various ways of socializing with other Sims, as you can see, but you also can receive unique calls and text messages too. As their Patreon says, expect everything from creepy anonymous calls that'll give your Sims the chills to heartwarming good news that will leave them beaming with joy. I'm really excited for when I'm telling stories to just see the various phone calls we receive and the buffs that my Sims get from them. So I just think this mod will add even more depth for storytelling. Then the last social gameplay mod I'll be showing is More Kisses Collection by Maple Bell Mods. I love this mod because it adds more in-game kiss interactions your sims can have and I mean once again. Look at these animations. After spending time with her fiance, Emery heads to her modeling agency so we can go over some of my favorite poses and animation creators. I won't be able to show all of them, but I will be sure to have the links listed below to their pages. So looking at pose creators, I love, guys, love using both Helgatisha and Rosalipa for my creative sim videos on my TikToks, as well as future posts I plan on doing on Tumblr. They both have great feminine and masculine modeling poses that I enjoy using for my game. Fun fact about me actually is that before I knew about animations, I literally used to create machinimas with poses only. So creators such as SB and Starry create such great poses for any storyline your sims may be going through. Now focusing on just a few of my favorite animators, we first have Rascal. VMS. Silva Sims and Sonora Studios. Most of the animations for Sonora, by the way, are not free, but I do love their action animations they have made and even have features in slow-mo as I'm showing, which is so cool. But overall, these are creators I have used in my previous Let's Play series, and they even have animations through Wicked Whims Teleporter that are just as amazing. If you have made it this far, I hope you enjoyed this video and a very small glimpse of Emery's life. And I really want to thank each and every one of you for the support on everything and I can't wait for you guys to see what's coming soon. With that being said, I hope you have a great day or night and I'll see you in the next video.